it was really interesting to learn about all of their teachings and things I didn't know before through the Minecraft. It's a video game first. A new teaching resource will soon be available through Minecraft Education Edition, connecting students worldwide with the traditional teachings and stories of Manitoba's Anishinaabe community. After more than a year of collaboration, Microsoft Canada, Minecraft, and the Louis Riel School Division are releasing Manitouabiaki. The School Division says it's the first Minecraft teaching resource in the world that honors, celebrates, and explores the Manitoba Anishinaabe community. By creating space for Anishinaabe culture within this popular virtual universe, you are giving voice to Indigenous peoples in an innovative way that I hope will capture the attention of young people across Canada and across the world. Players entering Manitouabiaki, which translates to the place where the creator sits, will visit a site located in Manitoba's western Whiteshell area before European contact in North America. Chickadee Richard is one of the voices for the characters students will interact with in the game to get information from that will help them explore and understand the Anishinaabe world. Seeing my people and our ways of knowing and being captured in this game and having our traditions and culture told in a good way makes me very proud. This is the first time students will be able to interact with an authentic representation of our people's history and way of life. Projects like this are an example of reconciliation in action. Seeing our Accord partners thrive through partnerships like this is the driving force behind Winnipeg's Indigenous Accord. To build the teaching tool, Anishinaabe knowledge keepers were consulted on how to create a truly authentic experience. The Anishinaabe digital world includes plants and animals not seen anywhere else in the Minecraft universe. Students will participate in a bison hunt, learn how First Nations communities and housing were established, and the way of life for the Anishinaabe people before colonization. My favorite part has there are cameras in the game and I love just going around finding the Sabe and the seven teachings and just being able to take pictures of them. It feels really cool that we get to be like a part of this project. It's really cool learning about the Anishinaabe people and what it was like here a long time ago. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.